tail. It's up. Let me zoom in. <laughs> now it's a little wavy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get some more uh, fence posts to fix the waviness because, uh, well, I wasn't thinking this afternoon when we went to get the panels and uh, it was an eight foot bed. Panels were 16 feet long. Yeah, my brain processed. Even even putting a pallet, two pallets in the back, it still didn't help none. So we fold them in half and uh, stacked them in that way. But you know, it's up. Uh, let me zoom out some. As you can tell, here's my finger. There's that cattle wire or cattle fencing. Uh, it's a hell of a lot better than that cheap weld wire you buy for uh, like $89 a roll of 100 feet. Now, if you're on a budget and you can't, you can't get this tub hauled, I understand buying the welded wire. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so much better. Of course, we just kind of, well, I about said something I shouldn't, but, but anyway, we just we kind of tied them in. As of right now, I'm going to get some thicker gauge wire and tie it up. But uh, they can't get across this. They can't go underneath it. Now, I did put a, a post piece here because, as you see, it has a bend. It's because we had we had to bend them in half to make them fit in the truck. So this stuff like here ain't going to hurt me none because they can't get through this. They can't get under it. So I'm happy. Plus, you know, they got an extra... Well, probably two or three feet across, and plus they can get their heads through that easier and chew on the the foliage on that side. Of course, when my buck was tied to that tree, he came all the way over here. Of course, you can see where it's all cleared out across here because uh, he chewed everything up when he was tied to the cable. Which all of my, except for him, he's a weather, and all these others are my does or nannies. I call him Doles. There's my little grumpy ass over there. He's in his timeout stage. Um, that's where the other ones were because, I, like you know, as you've seen before, all this was torn apart and messed up. So now he's he's over there in his own, own, own little area. You know, he has interaction, but you know he can't do any damage or harm to him. So uh, since he killed the uh, the two baby goats a few days ago, that's why I went ahead and had this done this today instead of this weekend he's over there contained he got water there's a mineral block over there which I'm gonna get another one stick over here along with a salt block and uh, he's been fed so he's over there trying to eat off the other feed pan so I'm gonna get another small trash can like I have over there put feed on this side so that way he has feed over there and I have feed over here because if I open that gate up, they're going to want to run through the gate to get over there. So I'm just going to get another trash can, metal trash can or a plastic one on this side and fill it full of feed and there she be. But yeah, it's, uh, let me zoom out. It's all done. Now like down where she's at right now, you can see there's a bend in the wire on the top of it. I'm going to get a, another fence post and kind of on the other side drive it in and pull that tighter so it just kind of takes out that loop on top where it kind of gives way and uh, gets it more secure on the bottom piece which you know they can't they can't get it they can't squeeze out from under it but and if they push against it it'll, it'll raise up a little bit because it's not secure all the way down like it should be but you know I'm just happy it's up they can't get out and they can have this whole area here of course I got fencing back there that I took off from this side and I'm gonna pull that fencing out eventually out of there and um, once they drop, start dropping their baby goats on this side I'm gonna run that fencing there down across here so it basically makes a barrier where the babies can't get out and then on top of that um, I got excess fencing there and there that came off these side pieces where it's all damaged and I'm just going to lay those across the front of this tie them in and that way well I, let me stand back 
tie in across the front piece here and tie in across this piece right here so that way you know even though you know the bottom pieces of the fence are torn up I'm just gonna flip it upside down where the bottom pieces are up high and the good pieces are down low and overlap this so that way when they have their baby goats the baby goats can't climb through the holes and that's basically what I'm gonna do and same thing with the long fence coming down this way and I've taken the pieces I've cut off here and uh, put them one piece over there because they've knocked the fencing out and uh, I've tied it in tight so therefore if he decides he wants to take his horns and tear up the bottom piece that's fine because he ain't going through the bottom piece of the well the inside piece where I put the other wire at and I drove uh, take, I took the five pound sledge and smacked it from the top piece of it and drove the uh, pieces that I cut into the ground and well he, he, he might be able to get through it eventually but it's going to take him a while so yeah he's 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 over there by himself he's confined and uh, as far as my weather goes even though he is a male uh, I might end up moving him over there with him because even though he's more docile and everything else uh, I'm not sure how he would be around babies so uh, I highly doubt that the other females would uh, uh, headbutt him and stuff like that like he would even though he don't have any horns but yeah this is what I did today uh, I probably sweated about eight gallons of water out of me and it's even though we're done with the fencing I'm still not done because there's more stuff I got to do so I'm just highly overheated almost sick feeling sorry the camera's turned but uh yeah I'm, I'm gonna go back inside I just wanted to show y'all what we did it took us about an hour hour and a half to do this and part of the reason I'm too is why the fencing down here is kind of dog leg not, it's not only it's, it's because it's bent uh, over there there was a bunch of tree roots in that one where you see where she's poking her head through the one pulse behind her there's a ton of tree roots in there and every time I get started going good I hit a tree root and have to pull it out and start again pull it out and start again so eventually once I found a place where I could get it in the ground I was just like hell with it we're going to stick it tie it be done with it so that piece back there is the only piece that's not really the straightest. The rest of these are pretty straight going across here, except for that one back there. And like I said, the only reason why is because there was a ton of fence, not fence posts, but a ton of tree roots. And uh, it kept me from getting it to where I want it to be. But, you know, it's up. It's doing its job. As you can see, she's back there pushing against the fence. And uh, it's barely moving. So... Uh, to me it's doing its job now even with her see what she's right there we got play in the bottom of the fence um, eventually I'm gonna get another post T post or whatever and put it back where her head is bring the push out a little bit put it in the ground tie it up that way it gets a little bit more uh, anchor balance and it's not you know shoved around push around pushing against the fence trying to get green leaf but I'm hot as I don't know what. I'm nauseated. I'm done. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you later.